Hi everyone, in all seriousness, I'm here today to share with you a um, Croctober uh, video. So I have joined a collab that is hosted by Sammy from Managing the Maze and Tanra over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. I hope I said that right. <laughs> so they are hosting this awesome crock pot collab and this year I decided to jump on that bag bandwagon because crock pot meals are my favorite. I use my crock pot all year long but I especially love them during the fall and so that's what we are doing today. Now if you want to see the other videos and I'm sure you don't want to miss those because they're all great YouTubers with lots of good recipes to share. Just check out my description box for the link and it'll be there for you. Now let's check out what I made in my crock pot. Summer is ended The leaves are turned first recipe I first cooked up some chicken leg quarters until they were practically falling apart and then I just deboned those chicken uh, leg quarters and then used the broth from them and added a gravy packet and then I also added a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of, cre of uh, cream of celery yes and then next I just came back with a can of uh, carrots and smashed them up a little with my fork before adding back that chicken that I shredded. I also add a soup can of water to kind of thin it out. I will be topping this mixture with a Bisquick biscuit topping. Just going to follow the directions for drop biscuits and I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. I realized that I forgot to add chopped onion to this recipe so I just added some dehydrated minced onions and also added some parsley that I just ripped into pieces and mixed in for some color. You can add anything you like to this recipe. This is just what I preferred on this particular day. And I just made my biscuit mix according to the package directions. So I'm adding my oil and my water. Just giving that a uh, mix. And then like I said, I was adding some uh, shredded cheese. My thought process was that I would make kind of a Cheddar Bay biscuit mix, but I forgot to add the garlic. So these still turned out really good. I just topped that chicken mixture with my biscuit mix. I added a little too much and it did end up covering the whole top of my chicken like a pot pie, but that was just fine. It tasted delicious anyway. <music> was a family favorite. It is a perfect comforting fall food. Although our weather was pretty warm, we were in the high 80s and close to the 90s again, but it was kind of like our warm up for fall, I guess. It's 
another day, another dinner. I am literally just getting my crock pot washed out from the last meal that I made and I'm getting some ingredients chopped up and ready to go into the crock pot. I will remove my crock, put it in the fridge for tomorrow morning and then get it started before I go to work. To me, every good meal starts with chopped onions. Well, just about. And here I'm just adding those onions and this chopped up smoked sausage. This meal was super, super easy to just throw together in my crock pot. The green bell peppers from the garden were the most exciting to me this year. And I was a little bit surprised at how good this meal turned out because I was just using a couple boxes of au gratin potatoes. I doctored them up with some sour cream and some cheese. But other than that, um, I'm just using a box mix. And everybody really loved these potatoes. I added some minced garlic. And of course, some butter. And in the end, these were super delicious. My husband said they were the best um, that he's ever had, which was a little surprising to me because usually I make these homemade, but I got a good price on these boxes. So I picked them up and gave them a try. And apparently everyone loved them. Now, I don't know about you, but I know that I can't leave chili out when it comes to fall crock pot meals. And here I'm just getting some beans in my crock pot. I like to mix up my beans and have different types. Here I'm using some uh, kidney beans as well as this mixture of um, chili mix. It has like the seasoning and stuff in it. And then I just used that jar of minced garlic, added some water to it to get all the leftover bits. We had lots of tomatoes this year in our garden, so I'm just chopping those up. They were extra ripe and juicy, so that was just perfect for making chili. And I do believe that these were the Roma tomatoes or... San Martin, I can't pronounce it, sorry. <laughs> anyway, they were... Um, grown in the garden, chopped up fresh, and then mixed in with those beans. And then I just got busy chopping up some more of those bell peppers from our garden. And we are going to use um, some jalapenos as well here in a minute to go in our chili as well. I never make chili the same way twice. I don't know how anybody does that, but it just seems like it's not something that I can do. There's those jalapenos. This one was very ripe. It had turned red, and I thought that that would be just lovely and colorful in my chili. And I already had some cooked ground beef, so I'm just adding that now. I also have an onion that I chopped up. And then I'm just going to come back in with some spices. I'm using some cumin, some chili powder, a little bit of seasoned salt. And you already saw me put in some garlic. I had some leftover tomato sauces from some kind of frozen meal kit that I didn't use but had in my freezer. So I'm using that now. We like to have a lot of beefy flavor in our chili, more than tomatoes. Um, so I made up some chicken bouillon and just poured that right in. And then just mixed it up and then just let it go in the crock pot until all of those veggies were nice and soft. I love making chili in the crock pot when I already have ground beef cooked up. It's the perfect dump and go recipe. And just a few hours later, we were serving it up. This was so delicious. Definitely a fall favorite at our house. And moving right along, I love baking in my crock pot. And here I am just using a box mix of brownies. These are the fudge brownies by Betty Crocker. I am just mixing those up as it calls for on the box. Nothing special. Um, 
the stay was hot. <laughs> it's supposed to be fall in October, right? But we had temperatures in the high 80s and almost 90s. So like I said, I do like to use my crock pot year round and you will typically find me doing things like this during the summertime or on a hot fall day like this day. So all I did was push my parchment paper down to cover the bottom of my crock. I did have my crock pot turned on so that it was already preheated. And then I just poured that batter into the crock pot. The parchment paper just makes it easy to get it out and nothing sticks in your crock pot. It's really easy to clean too. So after I get that all poured into the crock pot, I just smooth it around so that it's an even layer in the bottom. I chose my biggest crock pot so that the brownies would spread out into... Um, more of a thin layer that way they would cook a little faster and I just turn that on high put the lid on now you could put a paper towel under your lid to collect that condensation but I just didn't have any when my brownies were close to being done I just sprinkled on some walnuts I know when I was a kid whenever brownies or fudge would get made and they would put walnuts on it I'd be so sad because I didn't like them and I would spend so much time <laughs> trying to pick those brownies out here I'm just using a little teddy bear pick to check that the center of my brownies are done enough. I turn them over to warm just to let them sit until I'm ready to have them because I wanted a nice warm brownie. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember Somebody recently asked me how I make hamburger soup and I answered with anything I have on hand and that's what I'm doing here. I've never made ground beef in a crock pot before so this was my first time and it turned out great and I will definitely do this again. So here I'm just seasoning some ground beef with some garlic and some minced onions, a little bit, okay a lot of red pepper flakes. And I just let it go until it was cooked all the way through, then crumbled it and drained it. The way that I ended up draining the fat off of this meat was by taking my spoon and removing the meat onto a paper plate. I then just removed my crock and poured that fat off into a separate bowl and then returned my ground beef back into the empty crock pot before adding the remaining ingredients. This I did the night before and got it ready for the morning so that I could just turn it on before work. And it just worked out great for me with my work schedule. And here I'm just taking my meat masher and making sure that that hamburger meat is um, crumbled up nice and fine. This was so easy. I can see myself doing this in the future with chili and many other recipes. I had some diced up tomatoes that I put in my refrigerator a couple days earlier as well. And then I must have forgot that I put um, red pepper flakes in the meat because I added some more. But we do like spicy food. I think I mention that every week, <laughs> but we really do. 
In here, I'm adding some of that bouillon, better than bouillon beef, right into the pot. And also some tomato bouillon. And then I usually use frozen spinach or fresh spinach, but I didn't have any. So I did have a can of Glory Mixed Greens. And so I used about half a can and then put the rest up for a later use. Then I added a couple cans of water to this. I do have that bouillon in there, so needed some water to go with that. And I'm just using my meat masher still just to get everything kind of broken up. And then um, I will be adding this tortellini later. So here we have um, the meat and the veggies and that broth kind of all cooked through. And then I added my tortellini. My crock pot cooks super hot. So even on warm, it cooks like it's on low. So that is what I just did with this because I didn't want my tortellini to get all mushy. And I just stirred those around in there. And it looks like a lot of greens and that's because that's how I like it. So I did add a half a bag of Parmesan cheese to this. I'm just using this stuff in the bag. This was kind of a clean out the fridge kind of meal. And so this is one version of hamburger soup and using what you have on hand. Well, that is it. Thank you for coming by and checking out my video make sure that you check out all of the other videos that are in this collab so that you can get all the good crock pot recipes and if you haven't done so already make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can see all of my upcoming videos bye for now